Okay, here we are in uh, Bootkey Harbor, Marathon, Florida. I'm standing in the dinghy that would go with the Barber Jean. This is just the surroundings. And here's the Barber Jean. And the dinghy I'm in would come with it. It's a very exotic uh, water tender 9.4. Very, it works great, very practical. Two and a half horse mercury starts pretty much first pull every time. And one thing I like about the Barber Jean this design is you can oh, crash. Oh, swim ladder, very stout. It it uh, folds down, of course, drops into the water for climbing out if you're swimming or diving. And let's see here. If I can climb the board. <laughs> Bear with me. So you can pull pull the dinghy right up in underneath between the holes. Oh, that'll make more sense when I get out. So you just step right up, step right up on deck, and the dinghy is tied up and will drift back. Anyway, okay, outside. We've got solar panel mounted up out of the way. That's a 250 watt, quite new panel. It's a few months old. Uh, we've got sail covers, we've got a bimini top, uh, you've got big wide decks, um, a lot of storage down in here. I've got it kind of cluttered with stuff, but there's a huge amount of storage space in there. And more, more storage in there with my paint tray drying. And got big windows, a lot of air gets in. And then a little more storage for fenders. And on the other side of the boat, it's got the anchors. So anyway, I'm going to go up to the bow here. So you've got nets here that you can lay out in if you like. Uh, just loads and loads of deck space, which is very nice to have. I love it. Um, the bimini's not that old either. Nothing is, really. This whole upper deck catches rain, which goes, which all runs into these little holes back in here, and you can collect it for the tank. And your anchor can drop into, into, oops, into there. Just more storage areas on the starboard deck. And okay, and let's go into the cockpit. So, alright, I have a seat here. So, the cockpit is right in the middle of the boat, and your tiller, I've got the rudder here. It's tied up out of the way and padded so it doesn't squeak and make noise when I'm just sitting here. You've got excellent visibility. When you're sailing, you can open that whole front panel plastic and then you can get at all the lines at the bottom of the mast and control your sails, etc. Pretty well, raise and lower them, I should say, from here. And your main sheet comes back in here and you've got your hatch all the hatch boards I don't know if you can see them yeah all the hatch boards are stacked here and you've got storage in the cubbies on each side of course and your winches and that winch forward is for the staysail and then for the jenny and again for the mainsail uh, going forward let me back up so you can see I'll give it the back of the cockpit here. So, an overview of the cockpit, and the engine controls there, and gauges, etc. And you've got a unit back in here, gray marine, and it uh, shows depth, and uh, <laughs> I forget what else. Speed? No. No. Anyway, Okay, so we drop down the steps, 
And now we are in the forward cabin. Um, right in the middle, right as you come in, is the mast post under, directly under the mast. The center board, incidentally, for the boat, very important. Uh, in the cockpit up there, that rope down there, the line, you release it and then pull down, pull on it to pull the center board down. And then when you release it, the center board floats back up. Very good setup. Um, so, you got two bunks. The starboard bunk, I've never slept on it. Uh, both of these bunks have really big windows, a lot of air, a lot of light, and you can kind of completely block off the light too. There's a plywood panel that fits. It sets up here in these angled things. You put the plywood in there and then you put this in there and it locks it into place. And of course the plexiglass drops down on the outside. Back in here, because I don't use this berth, you've got a laundry, you've got a, uh, a hammock, you've got a brand new VHF that's never been used, a uh, new antenna is on order, you've got a, a GPS unit, give you your latitude, longitude, direction and speed. This bag of lines is new lines for connecting to the mooring when you've got extremely powerful winds. Uh, the ones that I use all the time are fine, but if I'm expecting severe weather, I switch out to the brand new ones. This bag has jack lines and a harness, so you cannot fall overboard while you're out messing with the boat and sailing. And my backpack. And then this is the bed I sleep on. And they're roomy enough. They're, they're cozy, but I don't mind at all. I've been sleeping on it for months and happy to do it. And then there's a pretty good sized storage compartment back in there. <coughs> Both of the beds have that. Um, oh, and underneath, let me move here a little bit. Underneath these bunks, you've got these tilt-out bins that hold a lot of stuff. Um, there's four of them. There's two under each bunk. This one I've got full of you know, jackets and stuff. And then coming a little more forward here. Let me back up. Okay, looking forward from, I'm right by the bunks now. Looking forward, you've got the dressing area. There's a bench down there and my toolbox and storage in the bench. I keep power tools and stuff in there. And then there's the fold down chart table slash folding table. A lot of storage up in those compartments. And that's the uh, lockable gun safe right there. And storage of paint and junk. And more storage and more storage. This thing has loads of storage. And I'm gonna sit down on the bench. Um, so you've got a sink over here. You've got plenty of standing headroom in this area. Lots of headroom. It's real nice when you're getting dressed. A uh, good sized drawer for all that bathroom stuff. Pretty good sized cubbies underneath. The foot pump for the water up here. And like I said, these cabinets in here are full of junk, but they're pretty roomy. Um, and then the drawing table or the folding map table folds down. You get a lot of storage for clothes and that sort of thing and then more storage up above and then going forward a bit more is the head the toilets under that lid there's some storage behind that funky curtain there and then a piece of the floor lifts out if you're going to take a shower then you step you can step down a little lower uh, this is easy to use just boom and boom i don't know if you can see that but anyway you got your Grateful Dead sticker. So again, this just folds up. This just folds down. And if you take a shower in here, then you're going to pump this handle. And it pumps all your shower water out. Um, and well, that's about it. Oh, and above my head is a large patch. That's lots and lots of light and air in uh, and you can stick your head up and look out if you wish and let's see okay so heading out of here back up into the cockpit 
and whoops and then dropping okay from the cockpit looking down in to the aft cabin there's the sink and stove on that side of the galley port side and then starboard side you've got a big counter here uh, let's go down below and so that's this area plenty of headroom here and then in the back you've got the settee for eating etc and this table and what happens with this is the table pushes in slides all the way in then you remove the cushions from these benches and they fold up and that's a mattress back there it just folds right out and fills the entire space um, so it's a pretty good nice double nice double bed and then it hinges in the floor opening up this and the lighting is a little weird here and then a very heavily insulated ice box here and I use three big blue ice ice blocks and those go in and out of there every afternoon and they go from this Dometic unit on the floor it's funky looking because I've taped it's just on there with tape half inch insulation to help out the insulation of it and I, key, I chill the blocks, I pre-chill other things I want to put in the fridge or in the cooler and then I make ice in here. This is actually an ice tray right here. And then there's a well in there I can do, I uh, use that for pre-chilling beer, soda, that kind of thing. And this system has worked out extremely well. Uh, real happy with it. And let's see how our battery's doing here. Oh, <laughs> We're maxing out. Excellent. So I'm charging both the golf cart batteries, two of those, and the engine starting battery as well. So I've got those all charging right now. Okay, so the galley. We've got a foot pump down there. And I just very handy. You can have both hands free unless you're holding a phone. And the stove is quite new, propane, works great. Um, you got a magnetic rack with all the utensils and stuff like that. And pots and pans get stored back in, back in there. And other miscellaneous stuff, and spices, etc., that kind of thing. One interesting thing is this weird shelf that holds a five gallon jug, which I love it because water comes out of it pretty fast. So if I'm filling a pot, I fill it from there. But when I'm washing dishes and I don't want the water so fast, I use the foot pump. That system works great. You got drawers for silverware and you know bags and stuff. And, and two more good size drawers on this side. Got a big counter over here. Uh, more storage in the back and more storage there. You got your your switch panels, these are old school, they work fine. Um, uh, this window over here does not open. There used to be a giant refrigerator on this counter. It was horrible. It didn't work anyway. And let's see. You have a big back window that opens up pretty big. And again, these, these, these windows open up completely. It's real nice. You get a lot of air moving through here. Um, let me pull the table back out. And I recently had cushions made for the settee, so it's pretty comfortable. So you can sit and you can watch the world go by and get a lot of fresh air and sit and eat and everything's handy. The uh, your silverware is right around the corner and plates are right up here behind me. A lot, of, a lot of storage in these cubbies. Uh, the guy that built this boat did an outstanding job. Um, so, I, I think that's about it. I don't know what else I can show you. Uh, but there you have it. Welcome to the Barber Gene.